today is Monday the 16th of May and we're taking the boat from uh, Holyhead to Dublin and going to our house with a full van. Oh, it's gone. Well, we just broke a lamp. That's all it is. We're trying to pack it. It's got a massive crack it's not, all the it's way. Not, it's, not, it's not worth fixing. <laughs> That's life. I like the lamp. So did I. It's obviously not meant to come to arms, is it? Morning. Hi, morning. Terminal 5, thank you. Chair time. <laughs> uh, we're just um, coming into the um, Dublin. Dublin, Dublin Harbour. Oh my goodness. Uh, the journey's been really smooth. We've got another what, five hours drive without breaks, so with breaks, it'll probably be about a six hours drive into Dingle now. Oh, I'm good to go and pick up the car and then get off the ferry, but it's been Really good, actually. Oh, yeah, I'm driving, yes. Just waiting for goodness it's five o'clock and we never made it to Dingle uh, we made it to Tralee and currently um, I'm in the car I'm gonna try and have a nap uh, because we've been waiting to be seen in the A&E since seven o'clock last night and we're still waiting just to see a doctor um, I'm part right in the hospital grounds we got a phone call the antibiotics to John is uh, taken currently are not the right ones and everything would have been okay if it wasn't for the fact that the antibiotics that will work can only be given IV yeah we just came straight to a and &E here um, but it's been so busy and it's we've been waiting 11 hours now and there's still about five people before he goes in and they've just announced there's been a bit of an emergency so they're really busy in there so John had some sleep had three hours sleep in the car and now we're swapping over I'm gonna have maybe an hour and a half and then I'm gonna come back and join him what a night it's just been we're just so tired and it's so cold in here now but I managed to managed to find a sleeping bag we've got a pillow and I've got a couple of jumpers and a coat on so I should hopefully be okay right I'll see you later quick update after waiting 17 hours we are finally getting what we need IV antibiotics going in <laughs> we are exhausted and we've got to wait as well for the doctor to um, kind of finally approve the plan of what we're gonna do next what have you got here? Oh, roast, roast dinner that's nice update number three or four I don't even know. It is Tuesday today, three o'clock. We're on our way home now. Oh, we had a faff because the medical team that first reviewed us said um, we'll go for IV antibiotics and either I'll be giving them or they'll get a district nurse or someone to come and do them. And that was the plan and we were just waiting for the consultant to approve that. <laughs> and then the surgical team came and they said something completely different and they said no, no need for an IV antibiotics, just continue with Fluclox. They changed their mind three times about everything. But the final plan is finish off the antibiotic, the oral antibiotics he's on and then they're gonna review him in one week time in the clinic. And that's that for now and we're coming back home now. We're nearly there. 
we don't remember our names anymore, do we? <laughs> We're so tired now. Like, we haven't slept for over 30 hours. But nearly there, nearly home. Yes, we made it. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you for watching and for taking the time. Please um, like and subscribe and we look forward to seeing you again in our next video. Our next video will hopefully be us crossing into France from Ireland. So definitely keep an eye out on that. And again, just subscribe and then you'll get automatic notification when we post that video. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you again soon.